Well, we are at one of the little knowns here in Las Vegas. Yeah. The National Atomic Testing Museum. Mm -hmm. Which is very cool because yeah. last year in 2020 was the 75th anniversary oh, was it? of the atomic testing oh. here in Nevada. Okay. They didn't do it right here because this is like a mile from the strip sure. and that'd be very dangerous. <laughs> so uh, they probably have information there yeah. where exactly it all took place and mm -hmm. all that information. But it is little known because it is off the strip. Yeah. And so people come to Vegas. They want to go not gambling the first thing they and think shows. About yeah. Going to. They're like, oh, we're going to go to Vegas to see the National Atomic Testing Museum. <laughs> That's not the first thought. But for us, we looked it up because we're looking at cool things to do that yeah. are not so um, uh, popular in Vegas. And this yeah. is one of the cool ones that we found. And big thank you to the National uh, Atomic Testing Museum for allowing us to film today. Yeah, because what we found mostly in Nevada is that these places don't allow filming. Not commercially anyway. Commercially, yeah. Personal use only. Yeah. And for us, since we make a little bit of money at it, it is considered it's commercial, commercial, so we have to ask permission if we Took want to. a couple to, days to yeah. get, get it arranged because they like specifically want to arrange it to like dates and times. Yeah, almost. and they closed a little bit for the holidays. Yeah. They had a little bit of a four or five day gap there where they closed. That's so true. now it's after the holidays. We're here filming. Uh, so thank you. And uh, we'll see what all we can get into. Yes. It's going to be a blast. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did? Oh, you funny. See what I did? <laughs> the first thermonuclear weapon technology test of an engineered device codenamed Mike was tested on November 1st, 1952. The 10.4 megaton blast vaporized and lifted 80 million tons of soil into the air. It left a crater 6,240 feet wide and 164 feet deep. The blast created a fireball 3 miles wide and a 30 mile updraft stem that billowed debris into a mushroom head spreading over 100 miles. The Nevada test site encompassed 1,375 square miles, an area larger than the state of Rhode Island. In spite of early attempts to keep detonation times hush-hush, the atmospheric tests quickly became a must-see attraction for Las Vegas residents and visitors alike. The pre-dawn spectacles made the desert bloom with dazzling fireballs, brighter than the sun. Soon, mushroom clouds appeared on souvenirs and atomic cocktails became popular drinks. Instead of keeping people away, as earlier feared, the tests boomed tourism. Underground tests in the Soviet Union continued until 1990, the United Kingdom until 1991, the United States until 1992, and both China and France until 1996. These countries all signed the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty in 1996 and pledged to discontinue all nuclear testing.
The most recent confirmed nuclear test occurred September 2017 in North Korea. Well, I told you it was going to be a blast. Yeah, you did. I learned a lot of stuff in there, man. Yeah, I, did, I, I did didn't not know, know much about no. our nuclear testing. I didn't know much before I walked in there, and I learned a ton. Yeah. There's um, a lot of reading. There's a lot of reading. But you need to read it to, to understand, understand it. it. Now, there are some videos in there, too. Lots yeah, of videos. Yeah, a couple theaters to watch films. Yeah, and even cool. if you can't get through all the videos because of so many hours of videos, yeah. you can watch yeah. them on PBS or the YouTube channel. They have their own YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, which we'll post a link in the description <laughs> of this video so that you can go see all their videos. Um, but definitely worth coming to, I think, if yeah. you come to Vegas. Yeah. What do you think was the most interesting part? <laughs> I found it all interesting because, I, like I said, I knew nothing. But what I found entertaining <laughs> was in the beginning when they talked about how they named them. Yeah. It's a list compiled by the DOD. Oh. But there's always a theme. Well, if the and, government's naming it, you know it's going to be crazy. <laughs> but, it, and I cannot remember, I should have took a picture. They showed like a couple different themes of where they drew names from. But I do remember one <laughs> because it was memorable. God. Cheeses. Cheeses? Yes. I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them were named after cheeses. Oh man, but it yeah, it's crazy. It is super interesting. I think it was. I did not know that we tested underground too. I, I didn't found either. that interesting, which seems smarter. Like you should do it underground as above. Yeah. Opposed to above ground, that makes more sense. I think. Well, what was crazy to me was because it's so close to Las Vegas. Yeah. And they didn't even tell Nobody anybody in Vegas they were that they were doing the crap. All that of a sudden, was crazy too. Crack of dawn, <laughs> boom! <laughs> Friggin' atomic everyone. bomb goes off. <laughs> Lights up the sky, shakes the crap out of you. Think it's probably the end of the damn world. That'd yeah. be scary. And another thing I found very interesting was that um, some of these uh, detonations out here in Nevada could be felt as far as New York, New York City. City. Holy yes. crap! That's yes. far. That's a big Seismic bomb. Activity. Yeah. Yeah. Very so, cool, interesting stuff. Though. What's really crazy to me is that it could have went. A whole different Which, direction because south, had big. Hitler got a hold of these things first, yeah, or we couldn't, you know, get the Soviets to chill out. Yeah, I mean, this could have been a whole deal. We could just not even be here right now because if everybody started throwing nukes around. Yeah, it's game over. <laughs> yeah. You know, so that was very interesting to me too. Yeah. But um, we weren't able to vlog in there because we had to wear our masks. But um, hopefully, you found the uh, the facts interesting mm -hmm. that we we're able to throw up during the video. And um, definitely, if you're in Vegas, come and check it out. Yeah. Uh, again, we will leave a link in the description to uh, their website, mm -hmm. their YouTube channel. And so you can go watch all the videos from here. Yeah. And if you're in the area, come check it out. Yeah. We had a lot I of fun. I found it worth it. And uh, stick around for a few more seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. Uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.